This video we're going to talk about a single tactic which I think is extremely important. When you've pushed your opponent down into the deep corners and, and they're super under pressure and they do the straight shot, I think here is an important element in singles. Many players tend to play the cross-court shot, which can be good because that's of course the longest distance on the court uh, for, for the opponent. However, you also need to be careful how you play this cross-court shot. If you play it and it goes a bit upwards, that actually means if your opponent has a good overview of the court and, and are good at a tactical game, they can actually get on top of that shuttle and then you are actually open up the entire court, which of course you don't want that. So you really need to be careful how you play this cross court shot. And the main thing is that you, you, you meet it early. That's very important. And you meet it with a, a racket ankle that points upwards once you play the shot. If you play it downwards, then you will have this kind of balloon loop on your, on your shot and that you don't want because that's opening your entire court. So when you want to play this cross court shot, you of course have one option, which is the standard technique opening up here in, in the forehand side, for example, and then you play the cross court. So you open up and play it. But doing this, you might get this small loop on your shot and that's what we want to avoid here. So instead, actually you have to meet the shuttle early and poke it, just a very, very small movement where you poke it cross court. Hopefully the flight on the shuttle goes downwards and not upwards. So that's if you want to play this shot, you really need your cross court shot to go downwards once you play it. Otherwise you can get into trouble and uh, of course that's not something we want to. In the example we see here, we actually see me doing the cross court shot as we don't want to do it. So the shuttle goes a bit up and that means Simon here are able to play the entire court and I'm actually getting into a lot of trouble. Instead, this is what we want to do. Meet the shuttle early and poke it so the, the shuttle goes downwards and that still keeps me in control uh, of the rally. So that's what we want to. The reason why many, many players tend to play the cross-court shot is because they almost feel like it could be a winner, which it might be, but I still recommend you to be very careful using this shot because the cons of doing this can be crucial in a, in a rally and, and you could end up losing that rally. So be very careful and that's why we want you to be super aware of this situation when you play the shot and if you should. Maybe you should just choose a, a straight block instead or lift again uh, either straight or cross. But this shot is like that could be a winner but it could also be almost a, a losing shot. So perhaps it's too much of a 50-50 shot so I would be very very careful how I use it when I play. Of course this is about anticipation, both from you and your opponent. I would believe if you are a, a beginner, the chance of playing a, a winner with this cross cut shot could be slightly higher, whereas the high you get up uh, playing against better better players, they would really be able to anticipate this. So the better you get, the more careful you actually need to be with this cross cut shot. I would also like to add, if you are the one in the deep corner, and playing this straight shot, you should be super aware of this could be coming. So that actually means that I would, as a player, sometimes play it on purpose to see if I can kind of trap my opponent into playing this cross court so I'm able to get on top of the rally. So depending who you are, uh, if I'm the one being under pressure, I could play it, uh, the straight one on purpose, see if it could come. However, if I'm the player who has the pressure and played my opponent into the deep corner, I would be super careful choosing the shot. When you've played a good cross court shot, I would recommend you to move your footwork a little bit towards your shuttle, uh, sort of. So that means that you're covering, especially the straight ones and are able to, to be really quick on those. So again, it's about anticipation.
If you are interested in learning a bit more about badminton tactics, we actually have a full playlist with different kinds of tactics on our YouTube channel. So go and find that in the description and subscribe to our YouTube channel.